Welcome, welcome, boys. Okay, this is going to be a video where I explain how to adjust your headlights on your car. I'm also going to demonstrate it on the Crown Vic. I did a standalone video, which I will link to in the card up above, uh, if you want to actually just see the whole procedure on the Crown Vic. But this is just a general video of how you adjust your headlights and aim them where they need to be. So this is the book for the Dodge Neon and this is the book for the Crown Vic. So I have two of them because the point is it's the same procedure for both. There's only going to be a few little differences. The main things you need to take away from this is the center line of the vehicle. You need to make sure you're up against the wall and that there's a good visible center line. You either need to tape it or in the case of the Crown Vic with the video I'm going to show you there was a nice long line already across the sidewalk and up the building that I could use as a center line, so I only needed to put tape here vertically on each side and one horizontally where the headlights are. So you need to park your car along the center line perfectly perpendicular to the wall 25 feet away. Your headlights, the front of the vehicle needs to be 25 feet from that wall. And then with it centered properly, going to put your tape, the horizontal tape, exactly where the headlights are. So I'll show you what it looks like on the Crown Vic now. Here's the front of the Crown Vic. So look at it and figure out the center and then kind of draw your imaginary line. And then use that to kind of figure out where you need to go on the wall ahead of you if you do not have a proper center line you will have to use tape. And as for where you place your horizontal tape, you need to be sure that it is exactly where the headlights are. So you can see, this is the tape measure, how far off the ground the headlights are. And that's where the horizontal tape needs to be on the wall. And then you also need to measure how far from your center line it is to each bulb on either side, just like I did here. And I have the tape measure starting from the middle of the Ford emblem on the grill. And then, as you can see right there, that is where the headlight bulb is. And from there, you'll have intersecting pieces of tape. You'll have the horizontal axis where the bulbs are, and then a vertical axis where the bulbs are. So it will be a nice cross pattern here. If you already have a center line, you won't need to tape there, but you will if you don't have... Uh, center line up on the wall like I did. And let's pretend for a second that you didn't have a tape measure, but you do happen to have some tape. You could try this. Well, you could pull the vehicle, assuming now in the Crown Vic video I can't do that because there's a curb, and the curb is, you know, so many inches above the pavement where my car is sitting. So I had to, you know, take that into account when I put the tape up. So, but assuming it wasn't like that, if you could pull all the way up to a building, then you could get as close as you can to it, and then you would know how to mark. You could be able to mark it where, you know, put your tape there where that cross is, and then, you know, back the vehicle up 25 feet or estimate the 25 feet. I guess you could do that if you did not have a tape measure. You could guesstimate 25 feet, and if you pulled the vehicle all the way up to the building, then you could mark it with the tape whereabouts it needs to be. And then once you get it there, procedures, the, the, you know, the only thing that's different is how to adjust it. You need, the things to note are you need to be 25 feet and you need to have the tape where it needs to be, but that is vehicle specific because obviously the Neon is not as tall as the Crown Vic, which is not as tall as, you know, the BMW E28 or the Corvette. Each one of these, there's a different distance from the ground to the headlight and then from the headlight you know to the center that's the only difference and then how to actually adjust it the thing you need to pay attention to is this stuff right here and then we'll go ahead and dive right into the video where I'm actually adjusting it and you'll see what it's supposed to look like when you do properly adjust your headlights okay and now with this picture I've drawn over it you can see that long green line is the center line from the center of the vehicle, 25 feet to the wall, and then it runs up the wall, and then you can see exactly to the left and right of the center line 
is where the X and Y axis intersects with each headlight. And you can also see that we have the headlights are both a little low and a little to the right. What you want to do is get each headlight, especially the driver's side one, just below that horizontal line and much further to the left. So you kind of want it, as you can see, that cross there. It's decided into four quadrants on the left and right headlight. You want in the driver's side headlight to be in the bottom right quadrant of that intersection. So just in there is where you want the most intensity to be visible. And ditto for the passenger side on its axis in that quadrant, bottom right, you can go slightly higher than you can on the driver's side because you don't have to worry about blinding oncoming drivers. But the bottom line is you do want your headlights to be aimed forward, not to the right, not to the left, not too far up, not too far down. Forward and center. So as you can see, I've now moved that headlight up. This is the driver's side only, but we still have to go to the left. And so I am adjusting it. Now, in order to get rid of the passenger side beam so it's not in my way while I'm doing this, I covered it up with a piece of cardboard. So you would do good to do the same. Use a piece of cardboard, a shirt, a pillow, another person to stand in front of the light and block it. Something to block one light while you are adjusting the other. I suppose you could also unplug it, um, but if you ain't about all that life, it's easier, of course, just to... Do what I did and block it. And I think at this point, since you do get the idea, I'll go ahead and speed up the footage. And then I will just, we'll go back and play it on real speed. Then once we get to the end, and we're just going to show you where the intensity is on the low beam and high beam. Okay, and now I'm going to uncover the driver's side headlight and then you'll see where the intensity is on both beams so that's where we are low beam both headlights and then we're going to flip the high beams on and then you'll see those the intensity will be above that it's almost completely concealing the tape you wouldn't even know it was there and since you drive around with the low beams more than the high beams if you have to pick one that looks better than the other you want to make sure that your low beams are the ones that are in the proper adjustment but those are pretty good. Low beams are exactly where they need to be. We are now facing slightly to the right, only just, and just underneath that horizontal axis. So therefore, we are perfect. We're no longer aimed down too low or very too far to the right. The beams are exactly in front of the car, perfectly straight ahead, little down, little right so we're not blinding anybody and we can see what's ahead of us slightly to the left slightly to the right so all right boys that's how you adjust your headlights on any car and you can get the beam exactly where you want it to be thanks for watching boys peace